Welcome back to Good Morning Interbike. Thanks for joining us at interbike.com slash live. It's great to have you here with us. We have got something really cool for you now. I'm talking to Beverly Garrity from at my local bike <laughs> shop or amlbs.com. Yes. Before we talk about it, Beverly, let's just talk about your time in the industry and your experience. You've, okay. you've been with some really iconic brands. Tell us about it. Uh, I started Bell Sports when they owned Mongoose, yeah. and uh, that really jumped me into the supplier world. I spent some time at Specialized, a couple years there. I, I did catalog work for Veltech when they were distributing Colnago, which I'm proud to say I got a, an award for winning catalog from that, nice. which was a road bike catalog of the year, I believe, that year in 2008. Uh, and lots of marketing, lots of store oriented, um, Collateral. Don't and gloss over that because I yeah. think the retail experience is important for what we're going to talk yeah. about. I mean, Old Navy, Apple, some right. some big brands when it comes to retail. Right. So outside of the industry, I worked for Old Navy and I managed their visual merchandising department and store yeah. design group. And what that meant was what Old Navy is famous for, which is their amazing merchandising, right? Yeah. And every month we would re-merchandise that and have to communicate that out. Um, then I also ended, was at Apple for... Gosh, now I forget how many years, <laughs> but uh, doing the retail panels up in the store. So all those beautiful panels with icons flowing out of them. I started when the first iPhone came out. Nice. And uh, that was an amazing experience to be at such a company with amazing detail, right? I mean, they just talk about doing rounds and yeah. what you know, people try to mold this, uh, themselves off of that, which I also had done for Specialized. I launched their concept stores. So I Got did it. their first signage and the logo for their concept stores when they uh, were starting that whole um, Initiative. So, so a little bit of experience with retail yes, as well. Yes. So bikes and retail. And then how does that translate into what you're doing today? Tell everybody about At right. My Local Bike Shop. At My Local Bike Shop is a consumer search site where shoppers can go and find exactly what they're looking for online at a local store. So they just simply search for the item, put in their zip code, and it shows who in their area actually has that item in stock today. So we happen to have it up on the screen. Yay. You want to walk me through this? Yes. So uh, when you f first open it up, it usually comes to a default zip code, which is where our home headquarters is. So you can enter your zip code, mm -hmm. and it'll show what retailers are actually showing today. We have about 500 stores in our beta launch, um, which has just been since June. So we, it's been pretty amazing to mm -hmm. have so many. Uh, and now what you can do in the search area is put in, for, for instance, physique saddle. Okay, so let's give that a and try. And you don't need the funny characters. I know, because I do yeah. not know where the yeah. colons go and, and everything else. So just physique saddle. Yeah, for a consumer or anyone who's searching, the more specific, the better. It goes right down to the size and model and color. Got it. Um, but what will show up here now is you can choose a product. Now, if you want to scroll down a little bit in the... Sure. Yes. So the green buttons are showing what's in stock, but you can go and pick a saddle. Okay, so let's just say we want this this uh, sure. white saddle here. Yeah. Click find it nearby. Yes, so the green indicates it's in stock and it's going to show you which store you can go to. So I just got to go down to, to Cupertino. Yeah. Yep. Uh, to to Cupertino Bike Shop and, and I can Speaking pick this up. Speaking of Apple. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so this means that this is actually in stock yes. at this store. Correct. What was the, the, the thought behind putting something like this together? What, what's, well, the, what's the need? The need the need is to get shoppers into brick and mortars, right? So I, I know that one of the biggest competitors is we're losing to the online market, right? So um, make sure that's on correctly. No, yeah, good. <laughs> um, I personally, I, to the core, support local shopping. Yeah. And so I thought, how can we do something about this, right? Or I, we as a company did. And it's just a perfect way to send and redirect an online shopper because we know people are shopping online. They know that we're researching online. Yeah. But there's nothing better than going, oh wait, the store carries, I can get it today. I don't need to have it shipped to me. Or try it on and test it, especially with so much cycling gear, you want to touch it and feel it and make sure it's the right items. Or especially rare. Especially the saddle, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. With rare items, I've used it for I needed campy cables. And, uh, and I, in my normal bike shop that I regularly go to it happens to not carry campy and yeah. so I was able to find someone that was only a few miles away right and so this is kind of the common story that's happening as we're just launching it people are realizing they can find inventory that shops want to move that it's even odds and ends inventory yeah it makes sense so um, how do retailers get more well, even before that okay um, I think that right now one of the challenges that retailers have is that people are going and they're buying they may go into their local shop yeah. Uh, and see something, or maybe they see something in a magazine and they want to buy it, uh, but there's so many shops nearby. Yes. You can certainly go do a Google search, see who's nearby, but you got to make 50 phone calls 
uh, in order to, to figure out where it is. So at least here, you know who's got it. And exactly. while there's the ease of shopping online, there's the instant gratification. If I yeah. need a saddle, I need a saddle today. Not a week from now, not even tomorrow. I yeah. want to get it today. So this gives the consumer the ability to go in, find who's got it locally, and exactly. know that they've got it in stock. Not just, yes, we carry physique, but we have this exact saddle in this exact color. Yeah, and that size, yeah. right? So that's, I mean, th if you think about, uh, potentially if you're in an event or you're traveling and you forgot your helmet or your saddle and didn't put it in your bike box, sure. right? You can enter exactly, you know exactly what you want, yeah. and you can find out who else has it, and you don't know there's local shops. You don't want to be calling 15 shops when you're in a hotel room, right? Yeah. That is just one use of it, but it's an interesting use of it, right? Yeah. Um, we, I, mean, I know in my cycling group, and I don't know, you know, in cycling groups in general, that we tend to get what the other person has, or if, especially if they like it, right? So you can go look for that specific item. Sure. And it doesn't, um, exclude you from trying you know your local your normal shop that you go to but there's also a lot of people we know that don't go to the shop first and this will get them there how does a retailer get involved and right. and how has the response been it's been fantastic once they realize it's a free listing so what uh, a retailer all they have to do is have a point of sale that, that is integrated with us and we're about 80 90 percent of them we're integrated with we're always adding on point of sales and uh, it takes about a five minute um, install registration process uh, and it's free. And what they get is their inventory now comes once a day in the background. A little piece of software is just sits on their computer. It becomes live, shoots us all the current inventory. Um, and what happens on the website is we just show they have it in stock. We don't show pricing, we don't show quantity. We just say that that store actually has that item because that manufacturer's part number showed up once. Right, so it's, it's really just a search engine for them yeah. and a way to get people to know that, that they've got it. The free aspect is yeah. something that I think may, you know, people, oh, come on, there's no, yeah. nothing's free. No, it's funny, right? It, it's almost like you want to charge them so that they realize that it's got some other validity, right? Yeah, right. Um, well, like anything, it's it's in numbers, right? It, you think about, and I hate to, I don't want to say the Facebook model, right? Once we get, we have 500 stores now, imagine we have 1,000, we're going to be able to put some advertising on this. So we're building the community, we're getting people to find out about it, we're just launching the consumer site now that we have a decent saturation across the whole United States. Yeah. And people are going to know about it and we're going to build that community and they're going to start using it as their destination to shop for. 500 dealers now, Yeah. Um, but I know you've got this nice lounge downstairs. Yes. You've created, it's <laughs> like an internet cafe down there. Um, dealers walk by. Yeah. How's the response been at the show? It's been great. Um, oh gosh, I don't have the exact numbers. We've actually signed on uh, a handful or a dozen stores just while we're here because if they're on a system that's on the cloud, we can sure. actually do it from here. Or um, our sales guy's been able to call them directly to the shop. If the owner is here and says, yes, green light, I want to do it, they call back at the shop because that person just needs to be on their point of sale to do the registration process. So it's been fantastic. And it's creating we're creating awareness, which is what's so great about having the online lounge. What's the, um, for, for the, the, the retailer who maybe isn't here, they're watching yeah. and and they're thinking, wow, this is really great. I want to get into your system. Yep. Um, do they need to have their IT guy show up? Or is it, no. What's it, what's it look like? No, it's super simple. The step, it's, uh, I was surprised actually because I got on the phones and started installing myself with people, um, helping my sales guy out. And uh, it, it can take from two to three minutes on some of the ones that are cloud-based to five minutes. And it simply means that they need to get into their point of sale. Yeah. So they probably might need an admin level depending on which brand they use. And they go through a simple step process where you put in just some information of their city, state, and whatnot, and you just register. So it's really nothing, and it takes about 30 seconds to download the little piece of software. So super simple. They just need the green light from their owner or, man or the manager that would say, yeah, let's get listed and um, advertise our inventory. Wow, so that's perfect. What about for the consumer? Mm -hmm. um, What's your coverage look like around the, around the country and uh, where do you think you'll be in the next six, 12 months? Well, I would like to be at a thousand stores within you know six months or less. Um, mm -hmm. I, we've been growing exponentially, so I don't see why not. Um, obviously, we'd like to get as saturated as the you know three to four to five thousand. We know that not everyone has a point of sale. We right. think this is an incentive to get one because you don't want to not be listed on here. Mm -hmm. um, you don't want to not show up when someone does a search, right? And it's really kind of taking place of the yellow page or a Craigslist or an eBay or something like that. You are now showing your inventory. So I see that within 
probably a little over a year that we'll be well over the two thousand dollar mark. But yeah, it's not, not two dollar. Two thousand dealer. <laughs> yeah, dealer. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the dollars would mean. But um, so uh, I think it's you're going to see it grow exponentially when you've seen it just since June go up to five hundred. Yeah. Right. Okay. So let everybody know once again where they can get if they're a dealer yep. where they can get more information or if they're consumer where they can go to start searching. It's amlbs.com, which stands for at my local bike shop. And there are, for dealers, there's a little button at the bottom that is green that says list for free. Okay. And you just select that and that brings you to the site of the point of sales that we're all connected to. And there's a info email there. You can certainly write info to AMLBS. Uh, and we will just we can give us a time. We'll call your shop and we'll walk you through the process. A lot of people can self enroll, but it's a little easier if you have us walk you through. Sure. Just to make sure you don't miss one of the little characters in there that you might need to fill in. But right. yeah. And I, I can also see we can follow you on Twitter as well. Yes, so you can. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Beverly, it's a great idea, a great way to, again, bring more people back to their local shops, know where they can get it do the local gratification, but then get the right experience from a dealer, yeah. get the relationship going, uh, and continue to support their local shop. It's a great idea. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for telling Thank us about it on so Good much. Morning Interbike. Really appreciate it. We appreciate the time. Thank you. We will be back in just a couple of minutes with the folks from Ride to Recovery. Stick around. You're going to want to learn yeah. about this. It's extremely inspirational. Join us again, interbike.com slash live.